so our earlier session was mere, uh, purely focusing upon the users of financial statements for whom we are preparing these financial statements we had also talked about the concept of general purpose financial statement as given by accounting standard 1 the disclosure of accounting policies we talked about the four formats that we are supposed to prepare as per the accounting standard 1 the general purpose financial statements today we will be discussing about those formats of the different general purpose financial statements and then we'll go ahead to the discussion of what is the basis of preparing these all final accounts i know you must have got it completed now the theoretical part which i had told you to read the concepts of accounting that you were supposed to refer through thoroughly i'll be talking about the same thing i'll try to explain you all those accounting concepts one by one how do they affect our final accounts how do they affect our books of accounts these all things is what we have to talk about so let's first talk about the formats of income statements formats of income statement we observed the point the income statements do include what the manufacturing account the trading account and the profit and loss account so the same thing we'll talk about now first of all let's talk about the manufacturing account that is in the case of manufacturer he is supposed to prepare what what the manufacturing account correct or not so you'll have manufacturing account is basically a nominal account wherein you will be debiting all the expenses related to manufacturing account we had understood that manufacturing account is basically prepared to determine to ascertain the cost of production particulars rupees particulars and rupees correct now whenever you purchase the raw material manufacturer ke liye the basic basic expense is raw material that raw material is purchased for manufacturing activity and therefore the cost of that raw material the purchase expense in that case will go to the manufacturing account so manufacturing account debit side to purchases of what of raw material correct ab ye jo raw material kharida hai isko rakh ke to ye koi finished goods mein convert hone wala nahi hai you need to do the processing on that and for the purpose of doing the processing you need the people that is the labor charges the wages have to be paid therefore to wages oblique labor charges correct and aapne machinery use ki जिससे आपने ये गुड्स बनाए आप फैक्ट्री यूज कर रहे हो जिसमें आप ये गुड्स बना रहे हो तो उस फैक्ट्री का रेंट उस मशीनरी का डिप्रिसिएशन फैक्ट्री अगर आप ओन करते हो तो उस फैक्ट्री का डिप्रिसिएशन दीज ऑल आर कॉल्ड एज द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग रिलेटेड एक्सपेंसेस दो आर द एक्सपेंसिस डिप्रिसिएशन नॉर्मली हम लोग पी अकाउंट में डालते हैं बट अगर हम मैन्युफैक्चरर हैं और मैन्युफैक्चरिंग से रिलेटेड मशीनरी यूज कर रहे हैं तो 
उसका डिप्रीसिएशन पीएडल अकाउंट में नहीं जाता है दैट डिप्रीसिएशन विल कम टू द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग अकाउंट ऑल राइट सो टू मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एक्सपेंसेस लाइक देर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड एज इनडायरेक्ट मटेरियल मटेरियल ही है रॉ मटेरियल जैसा ही मटेरियल है बट वो डायरेक्टली नहीं लगता है वो इनडायरेक्टली लगता है जैसे अगर आप एग्जाम्पल लो देर इज दिस कंपनी विच इज बेसिकली प्रोड्यूसिंग टूथपेस्ट कोलगेट इज प्रोड्यूसिंग टूथपेस्ट टूथपेस्ट का बेसिक इंग्रेडिएंट जो भी होगा उनका वो जो पेस्ट केमिकल्स वगैरह आते हैं वो सारे उनके डायरेक्ट मटीरियल वो जिसमें वो ट्यूब जिस ट्यूब में वो पेस्ट डालेंगे वो भी डायरेक्ट मटेरियल पर उस ट्यूब को प्रॉपर प्रोटेक्शन देने के लिए उन्होंने बॉक्स बनवाए जिस बॉक्स में पैक होके वो टूथपेस्ट हमारे तक के पहुंच हम तक के पहुंचती है सो दैट मटेरियल व्हिच इज रिक्वायर्ड दैट बॉक्स व्हिच इज रिक्वायर्ड इज कॉल्ड एज इनडायरेक्ट मटेरियल बट दैट इज पार्ट एंड पार्सल ऑफ द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस ओनली और नॉट क्योंकि अगर वो उसमें पैक होकर नहीं आएगा तो उसमें वो खराब होने के चांसेस है इसीलिए टू फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ प्रोटेक्शन दैट पर्टिकुलर एक्सपेंसिस इनकर्ड और नॉट सो दैट बिकम्स एन इनडायरेक्ट मटेरियल बट अ डायरेक्ट एक्सपेंस द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग रिलेटेड एक्सपेंस राइट उसी तरह से अब मैन्युफैक्चरिंग में लगा हुआ जो एम्प्लॉय है वो उसका जो वेजेस है उसका जो लेबर चार्जेस है दो कॉल्ड एज डायरेक्ट वेजेस बट अब वो बाहर आने के बाद में टूथपेस्ट प्रॉपर पैक्ड है या नहीं उसको प्रॉपर बॉक्सेस में पैक करके आगे प्रोसेस करने के लिए जो लेबर लगता है दैट इज कॉल्ड एज इनडायरेक्ट लेबर दैट इनडायरेक्ट लेबर आल्सो इज रिलेटेड टू द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस ओनली एंड देयर फोर द एक्सपेंस टूवर्ड्स द इनडायरेक्ट लेबर विल ऑल्सो बी ट्रीटेड एज मैन्युफैक्चरिंग रिलेटेड एक्सपेंस एंड देयर फोर दैट विल गो टू द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग अकाउंट राइट right? अब ये जरूरी तो नहीं है कि जितना आपने गुड्स खरीदा था जो रॉ मटेरियल आपने खरीदा था वो सारा का सारा रॉ मटेरियल आप कंज्यूम कर गए आप कर, वो सारा का सारा रॉ मटेरियल आप यूज कर गए देर इज नो चांस ऑफ दैट एंड फॉर दैट पर्पस दिस रॉ मटेरियल विच इज स्टिल अनयूज विच इज स्टिल अनयूज can not be treated as the expense of the current year there is a concept that we are going to talk about that is matching concept and as it cannot be treated as the expense of current year therefore either you reduce the purchase of the current year or you show that raw material in the manufacturing account credit side which is still unused we call that as the closing stock right so by by closing stock of what of raw material and at the same time some raw material which on which the process has started but those is not those have not yet been converted into the finished goods us pe aapne process start kar di us pe aapne manufacturing ka process start kar diya usko conversion start kar diya but that has not yet got converted into the finished goods we call those as the work in progress so we'll have the raw the the closing stock of work in progress jisme aapne raw material use kar liya aap ab tak ke usko pura finished goods convert nahi kar paye that is what we call as work in progress understand and remember this the closing stock of raw material the closing stock of wip is our asset as well and therefore that appears in the balance sheet asset side as well wo kaise wo main aapko explain karunga baad mein now understand a point further 
that whatever is the closing stock of one year becomes the opening stock of next year. Jitna stock of is sell unused kar pae, itna is sell me use nahi kar pae, jo stock of work in progress me have ugly sal to jacket complete honevala yeni. Us raw material cop ugly sal me jacket to use karnevalo yeni. And therefore that, that is treated as the expense of next year. Therefore I said that the closing stock of one year becomes the opening stock of next year. So it goes into the manufacturing account debit side as what to opening stock of what of raw material as well as WIP RM is raw material WIP is work in progress all right now Debit will always be excess than credit when it comes to the manufacturing account. Because manufacturing account, we have made it this way that we have to identify cost of production. And if you have to identify the cost of production, then in that case, you will always be observing that your debit side of the manufacturing account will always be higher than the credit side of manufacturing account and that balancing figure will be nothing but by cost of production by cost of production this cost of production is nothing but for the goods which are produced during the year or not. Yehi wo goods and job produce karke bechne wale ho ya nahi. Therefore, this cost of production from the manufacturing account credit side is transferred to the debit of trading account because it is treated as the expense of trading. So, this will be transferred to trading account debit side all right now so this will basically be the balancing figure so this is the format of your manufacturing account in fact, I can develop certain mathematical equations on the basis of the manufacturing account. Now, you had certain opening stock of raw material. You made certain purchases. of raw material raw material as well as WIP and then you had certain closing stock you had certain closing stock of raw material aapke pa shuruwaat mein 100 unit the during the year aapne 1000 unit khari de at the end of the year, after was 200 unit bache hai. So, is ka matlab aapne 900 unit consume kiye ya nahi? So, the opening stock of raw material plus purchases plus closing stock of raw material will give you what? The raw material consumed during the year. When you are knowing now what is the raw material consumed, to that if you add the labor charges and manufacturing expenses, you'll automatically come to know what is the cost of production. So, raw material consumed adjusted with plus opening stock. of 
WIP less closing stock of WIP added with labor and manufacturing expenses gives you what the cost of production the same thing that we did in the account format the same thing here i have written in the mathematical equation format all right now you write ye likh liya kya aapne manufacturing account ka format have you written it अच्छा जिन्होंने नहीं लिखा वो लिख लो फटाफट लिखो पर Why we will transfer the cost of production to the trading account? Because Bhaiya, no, Madam, sorry, Vidhima, you have made the stock, which you have made, what are you going to keep it in your house? You are going to sell it off in the market or not? And when you sell it, how much profit did you get from selling it? You have to calculate it for selling it, so you have made the trading account, or not? therefore the cost of production will be transferred to the trading account Is it done? Fine. Let's cover it now. To the next part. That is the format of trading account.
Trading account also remains in the same format. Particulars amount, particulars amount. We are talking about the second format now that is off trading account. Now trading account will have two cost of production in the case of manufacturer. But even a trader prepares trading account if you remember. Therefore, or to purchases. Even in case of a manufacturer, he may also purchase certain goods from outside and he may also sell it as such. So he may be a manufacturer come trader. So that cost of production, that cost of goods purchased, this all will come into the trading account. Then to wages these are other than manufacturing account or manufacturing related wages or in case of trader whatever is the wages like the loading and loading cartage etc these kind of things are nothing but the wages that wages will come into the trading account debit side i said in case of manufacturer other than manufacturing wages will come into the trading account if, if those are not related to the manufacturing process. Then to direct expenses. Again, in case of the manufacturer, the expenses other than the manufacturing related activity, whatever are the expenses related to the core activity of the business is what will come into the trading account on to the debit side all right now it is not necessary again that all the goods which are purchased all the goods which are produced by the organization those all are been sold off there will be some goods there can be some goods which is still into stock or not and therefore buy by closing stock you can either reduce it from the trading account debit side from the purchases or you can show it into, into the trading account credit side this is basically the stock of finished goods in case of the trader correct now, whatever again is the closing stock of finished goods for one year becomes the opening stock of finished goods for next year. Therefore, two opening stock, of course, of finished goods only. Correct. Understand a point further. Trading account is also a nominal account. And because the trading account is also a nominal account, therefore, whatever are the goods sold becomes the income or the incomes are credited to the nominal account or not. Therefore, on to the credit side by sales. Now, there are certain more items which come into the trading account, like the goods destroyed by fire, the goods withdrawn by proprietor. Now, why I have written the term net? Net means net of returns. If there are any return of goods, those are subtracted from the purchases or sales, as the case may be. Now, understand the point further I was talking about that goods destroyed by fire, goods lost by theft, etc., etc. Those are not being shown in here. However, we'll be understanding it with the help of the different adjustments that we are supposed to talk about. Why I'm not showing it here? Here we are preparing the prima facie, how the trading account looks like. All right, the additional items will come in the times to come. 
Now suppose the credit side of this account is greater than the debit side. In the case of the trading account, if the credit side total is more than debit side total, then it is called as to gross profit. And this gross profit is carried forward. Carried forward. To credit of the profit and loss account correct whereas if the debit is greater than credit this may also happen in that case we call that as buy gross loss if you remember i had told you that the Trading account is basically prepared to determine to ascertain the gross profit or loss of the business. And this gross profit or loss is carried forward to what? To the debit of the profit and loss account. Did you get this? Now, based on this, if I frame certain equations, if I form certain equations, observe it. The debit is always equal to credit, assuming that there is a gross profit. So if I observe the debit side, I'll have what? Opening stock. Of course, we are talking about finished goods. Plus purchases or cost of production plus direct expenses other than the manufacturing related expenses plus gross profit will be equal to sales plus closing stock of finished goods this is how that equation is or not now, out of this, if you can observe, if you make an observation on opening stock plus purchases plus direct expenses, these are nothing but the expenses towards the cost of the goods which are available for sale or not. Jitne ke goods aap ke paas sell karne ke liye available hai, sare ke sare. Unka hi ye cost hai ya nahi? So we call these as what? The cost of goods available available plus gross profit is equal to sales plus closing stock yes or no now if you can make a further observation these cost of goods available is related to goods only this closing stock value is also related to goods only or not yes or no as these two are related to goods only, in dono ko aise bichda hua rakhne mein kya fayda mil raha hai tumko? Galt hai na? So what we do is, we bring closing stock to this side and we take gross profit to another side. What will happen now? What will be my revised equation then? Cost of goods available. minus closing stock is equal to sales because when the sites change the signs change minus gross profit correct or not up cost of goods available but sare goods 
और इसमें से अनसोल्ड गुड्स मैंने माइनस कर दिए तो व्हाट विल आई गेट इज नथिंग बट द कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड्स व्हिच आर एक्चुअली सोल्ड ड्यूरिंग द ईयर ये सुनो सो द नेट फैक्टर ऑफ दिस द कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड्स अवेलेबल लेस द कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड्स सॉरी कॉस्ट ऑफ क्लोजिंग स्टॉक विल गिव मी द कॉस्ट ऑफ goods sold we commonly call this as cogs therefore aisa humne kiya tha agar aapko yaad hoga to jab hum log inventory valuation kar rahe the jab abnormal normal item wala situation aaya tha tab hum cogs cogs khel rahe the right is equal to what sales minus gross profit और अल्टरनेटिवली आई कैन से अगर आप इस वाले इक्वेशन पे फोकस करो तो यू कैन से वॉट सीओ जी एस इज इक्वल टू ओपनिंग स्टॉक प्लस परचेसेस प्लस डायरेक्ट एक्सपेंसेस माइनस क्लोजिंग स्टॉक विल गिव यू वॉट द कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड्स सोल्ड समझ आया लॉजिकली अगर समझोगे तो कभी भी तुमको याद नहीं रखना पड़ेगा फ्लो के साथ जाओ विद द हेल्प ऑफ ट्रेडिंग अकाउंट ओनली वी हैव डेवलप दीज ऑल इक्वेशन सो ट्राई अंडरस्टैंडिंग फ्रॉम दैट परस्पेक्टिव अब छाप लो going good for everyone see what i am trying to do is when i am talking about the final account you should be understanding it thoroughly matlab agar mujhe superficially padhana hota to ab tak to maine adjustment start bhi kar di hoti par agar mere fundamentals acche honge na related to the final account it will create a kind of sense ha yaar ye mujhe aata hai i'll have the confidence main isme se tumko matlab uh, थेरोटिकली कितनी चीज यूज में आएगी या नहीं पता नहीं पर प्रैक्टिकली बहुत कुछ यूज आने वाला है चले मूव आए
Okay. Let's come to the next format. That is the format of profit and loss account. I'll draw the format of profit and loss account in brief here. Of course, when we are preparing the profit and loss account, that profit and loss account include only the indirect and non-operating items. The profit and loss account do not include any of the direct expenses. There may be certain indirect expenses which are operative expenses. There may be certain indirect expenses which are non-operative expenses. So let's talk about the format of profit and loss account. Whatever is the gross profit or gross loss that must be brought in here by gross profit brought down or to gross loss brought down either which way it can be all right now indirect expenses like to administrative expenses what do i mean by admin expenses expense related to rent expense related to electricity as expense related to depreciation these all are my admin related expenses which are to be incurred for my business necessary compulsory mandatory but those expenses are not related to the core activity of my business. Mujhe business operations chalane ke liye ye kharch karne hi padenge. But wo mere direct activities related expenses nahi hai. That's why those are called as administrative expenses. I'll give you certain examples. Electricity. telephone traveling salaries depreciation these all are called as the administrative and so on and so forth there are so many more all right then to selling and distribution expenses and distribution expenses means what that if i am doing some advertisement some marketing some selling expenses those will come in here of course, in the examination, we are not supposed to write the answer, the profit and loss count with this bifurcation. There is no need of. But we are writing it for the sake of understanding that what kind of, what nature of expenses will come in our profit and loss account. Advertisement expenses. Dispatch expenses like carriage outward, etc. Marketing expense. bad dates because you have sold the goods you have sold the goods on credit and then you have to incur that expense that's why that bad dates will also come here all right then to finance cost finance cost means what you have been doing the business you have been carrying out the business activities and in that business activity, you have to pay certain interest to the banks because you have taken the loan. You, have, you were feeling alone, so you took the loan. When you have taken that loan from the bank, the bank will surely be charging you some interest, some processing fee, etc. So that is what we call as the finance cost. Interest, etc. then your business may also be required to pay
or your business may also incur certain non operating expenses therefore two non operating losses those will also come into the pnl account credit side then on to the credit side you'll have indirect incomes by in direct income in the form of maybe some, some commission you receive from your suppliers indirect income means what the income related to the business but not to the core activity of the business that's what we call as indirect income or maybe some discounts that you cash discounts that you receive from your customer from your suppliers there are certain incentives that you get those all are called as the indirect incomes and then you may also have the non operative incomes non operating income like there can be some profit on sale of asset depreciation mein dekha hoga aapne profit on sale of asset of asset there can also be certain uh, income in the form of dividend aapka business trading in goods ka hai aur aapne kuch shares mein invest kar rakha hua hai wahan se aapko dividend mil raha hai that dividend will not be treated as your direct income sorry operating income that is considered as your non operating income and so on and so forth now again if credit of your pnl account is greater than the debit of your pnl account we call this as net profit and this net profit goes to what transferred to capital account added to the capital account of the proprietor or partners but if debit is greater than credit then there is a net loss which is again debited to capital account debited to capital account am i clear with everyone chalo chapo fai complete the chapai aaj tak aapne bahut sare profit and loss account banaye hue hain bahut sare trading account banaye especially for the commerce student i'm saying but what happens is the per, the approach the process which you had followed earlier and here a bit difference is there hey any yes shake bhai shake tu sach mein na tu samajhne mein kam aur likhne mein zyada dhyan deta hai aisa mere ko lagta hai हुसैन तुम्हारे कुवैत में ऐसा पढ़ाते हैं क्या फिर शाकिब तू चिट्टी का सेकंड रूप है ऐसा लगता है मेरे को लिखते लिखते जल्दी समझता है अरे दीपेश तूने अभी रिसेंटली किया हुआ है इसलिए तू इतना बात कर रहा है Hussain, you must have got the formats pre-printed in the textbook, or uske baad mein wo dekh lo, or uske hisab se tum banate jaate rahenge. What the state board does here? Textbook mein saare format chap ke de deti hai ki kaun sa item kaha jayega, or uske hisab se saare master ek dusre ko padha rahe. Audit fees will come under the administrative expenses. वाह चिन्मय तू तो दिमाग लगा रहा है सही हा
सही बात है शाकिब अब तो आदत सी हो गई है ऐसे जीने की बस ऑनलाइन लेक्चर अटेंड करते रहो जिंदगी चलाते रहो बट नाउ यू पीपल हैव स्टार्टेड एंजॉइंग द ऑनलाइन लेक्चर राइट हाँ सोने को भी मिलता है खाने को भी मिलता है घूमने को भी मिलता है लेक्चर सिर्फ चालू करके चले भी गए तो भी चल चल जाता है रिधिमा दैट इंटरेस्ट कॉस्ट इज नथिंग बट द अमाउंट दैट यू पे टू द बैंक राइट व्हेन यू बोरोड द मनी फ्रॉम द बैंक यू आर गोइंग टू पे देम द इंटरेस्ट दैट इंटरेस्ट इज व्हाट वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट इंश्योरेंस एक्सपेंस विल कम इन एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव एक्सपेंसेस online online uh, teaching or online learning has a different kind of advantages traveling ka kharcha bach gaya traveling ka effort bach gaya utna 2 3 ghanta bachta hai traveling mein and sabse badi baat ki wahan baitho to pura attention wo master dekhte rehta hai master ka dhyan aa gaya hamare upar to hamari kaise lagegi pata nahi ab mati to tum bahut khate rehte ho that's that's a different thing the point is ki you have the different advantages but at the same time wo jo live lecture wali feeling hoti hai na wo bahut alag hoti hai probably the classes that you have attended till date those were quite of quite different line you have not come to the ekatvam academy earlier in the live lectures and that's what that's why you are feeling ki yaar theek hai abhi online hi theek hai but wo jo feeling hoti hai na class wali wo bahut farak padta hai yuvraj don't tell me no friends full concentration on kya baat kar raha hai beta बंदे को बीच में भूख लगती है चलो किचन में जाता हूं मैं कुछ खाके आता हूं एंड ऑल दैट नहीं जले पे नमक छिड़कने की बात नहीं है यश द पॉइंट इज ओनली वो क्या है ना मतलब मैं सच में लास्ट लास्ट सम डेज पर्टिकुलर डेज सीरियसली would have had that kind of opportunity to go into the class i've been going into the class actually yes tere papa aaye the shayad you know for uh, getting the sign on that form so uh, i've been missing those kind of things but abhi recently jab main office jaane laga hu na to abhi log milne lage hain students keep coming they talk so i have started having the feeling so i don't have any problem problem tumko hai mujhe nahi also let's come to the next format that is the final format that we are going to talk about today that is the balance sheet fark se bitna balance sheet mein hum log particular amount nahi likhte hain balance sheet mein hum log likhte hain liabilities and assets will have liabilities and assets correct ha uh, na wo aajkal aati nahi isliye the balance sheet format is what we have to talk about understand and observe it very well now the liabilities will be the obligations of the business 
वेर एज असेट्स आर द ओनरशिप और रिसीवेबल्स ऑफ द बिजनेस सो इन द लाइब्रिटीज यू शो कैपिटल वट एवर इज द ओपनिंग बैलेंस ऑफ दैट टू दैट यू जनरली एड द प्रॉफिट ड्यूरिंग द इयर एड और देर कैन बी अचुएशन ऑफ सब्ट्रैक्ट ऑल्सो प्रॉफिट और लॉसेस राइट प्रॉफिट विल बी एडेड लॉसेस विल बी सब्ट्रैक्टेड and from this sub total you subtract what drawings during the year and the balance is shown to the outer mount column of the balance sheet then you show the long term liabilities like term loans from the bank from the financial institution those will come in the long term liabilities then you show the current liabilities and provisions in fact this should be the sequence that you should be following even though you don't write the headings but you are supposed to write these all items in the same proper format current liabilities you may have sundri creditors you may have bills payable you may also have bank overdraft you may have the outstanding expenses you may have provision for taxes the amounts which are payable these all things will come under the current liabilities and provisions all right then on to the asset side we normally write the fixed assets first fixed assets the respective asset will be writing separately under that now again as i said heading is not mandatory but you should be writing in that sequence this is called as the order of permanence in which we prepare the balance sheet so we'll have the respective asset we normally write the cost of it subtract there from the depreciation on that and the balancing figure is what we show to the outer mount column so whatever assets have to be shown in the balance sheet those all have to be shown at the book value that is after subtracting the depreciation after that you'll have investments like investment in shares debentures fixed deposits these all will come under the investments and then comes the current assets the current assets of the business include stock maybe the stock of raw material the stock of raw material the stock of wip or the stock of finished goods those all will be shown in here you will have debtors the sundri debtors will have prepaid expenses will have bills receivable will also have the cash in hand will also have the bank balances so these all items are shown in the balance sheet on to the asset side and you take the total of that balance sheet now because we are following the dual aspect concept that is the double entry system as a result of this this total must be same automatically why 
as per the dual aspect concept the total assets total assets means what all the asset side must be equal to the capital plus liabilities capital plus liabilities am i right for all just finish this Now the same thing na stock of raw material wip and finished goods these all are owned by the business and as those are owned by the business that's why they have to come into the balance sheet how wo kis basis pe aayenge uski accounting entries kya hai wo hum log discuss karne wale mein good yes yadnesh check your spam mails they send the mails and you get it into the spam and that's why you start getting into a kind of fumble is that fine ye balance sheet hi chal raha hai beta aur kya chal raha hai in fact the next thing that we have to talk about is the sources of preparing the various final accounts and then on what basis we are preparing these all final accounts to so, agle do lecture ye full pravachan wale hone wale hain par wo pravachan bahut zyada important hone wala hai so next two lectures you are supposed to be very much attentive with the full of concentration when we are discussing the concepts all right kyunki aapne pad to liya पर सर 90 परसेंट ऑफ द थिंग्स हैव गॉन अप द हेड एंड यदेश प्लीज सेंड द मैसेज लेटर ऑन दीपेश यू कैन अपडेट योर यू कैन वेरीफाई योर ईमेल आईडी एंड पास एंड मोबाइल नंबर ऑन द एग्जाम वेबसाइट नाउ देर इज नो प्रॉब्लम इवन इफ यू हैव नॉट डन इट अर्लियर so tomorrow and day after these two sessions will be very much interesting vachan hai par interesting hone wala hai so we will be talking about that yeah shakeb will be there so we'll be talking about that in the next lecture that is tomorrow at 7:30 thank you for today
tomorrow is friday right oh wait 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 tomorrow probably i'll not be able to take the session probably tomorrow if no message comes from me then our lecture will be at 7:30 if no message comes from me then our lecture will be at 7:30 if no message comes and if there is any kind of change i'll be conveying you accordingly yes thank you for that 